Hi everyone. So this video you will learn how you can add active class using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to our style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom. We need one container. And it will have a couple of button elements copy and paste it four times make it two make it three make it four get five let's style these button elements go to style sheet select the body element first text align will be center select the container display will be in line block Select the button element, border will be none, background color will be grey, font size will be 20 pixels, color will be white, padding will be 10 pixel and 20 pixel, cursor will be pointer. Now we'll have one active class and this will have background color of green. Also on the button hover, I want to apply the same styles. Save it. Open this file in the browser. And this is the output. And you can see on the hover, the background is green. Also on the click of any of the button, I want to apply the active class which contains background color of green. So let's go to script file and select these buttons. So let's make it buttons. Then we'll use document.query selector all and we'll pass the button here. Because I want to add event listener, so I have to loop through all the buttons. For that I'll make use of for each loop so it will go like this button dot add event listener event will be click I will call this function now it's going to be a two-step process first of all we are going to remove active class from all the buttons and then we need to apply the active class to that specific button which we have clicked. To remove the active class from all the buttons, we have to loop through. So we'll take this button variable, make use of for each loop here and loop through all the buttons. So let's call it btn. We have one property class list and there is a method remove. So we'll pass the active class here. Now we need to add active class to the button which we have clicked and we'll get reference of that button using this keyword. So it will be this dot class list dot add and that will be active class. So this is all what you need to make it work. Now just save it, go to browser, now click on button 1, you can see the class is applied. Same goes here, 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 here and here. So it's working absolutely fine. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.